Hey there, I'm Dom Ramirez. I'm a lifelong entrepreneur and a software creator. I also run a team of developers and designers who specialize in building great new apps for startups quickly and inexpensively. We're called Beta Cannon. And this is Beta Cannon Founder Training, where we give you insider tips about launching a tech startup without betting the farm. Not the home farm anyway. Why am I talking about farms? Did I mention I'm from Idaho? So I've said it in other videos, but I'll say it again. The only features that really matter when you're designing a new app are those which support your unique value proposition. What is the one thing which your app will do, which your target user doesn't get elsewhere? Notice that I said doesn't and not can't. Some of my favorite examples of great unique value proposition might be Uber, the smartest way to get around, or digit, save money without thinking about it. Both of these statements embody the whole point of the product. The thing that makes it useful and the thing that makes it unique are both baked into one short statement, six words in both of these cases. Another way to think about it would be, what's one problem your app will solve for a specific group of people better than any other product? For example, the unique value proposition for a waffle might be crunchy pancakes that don't get soggy. Sure, a waffle and a pancake they have the same ingredients, and yeah, waffles aren't objectively superior to pancakes, but if you're marketing to breakfast eaters who don't like soggy foods, a waffle might just stand out as the best product on the market. To be clear, unique value proposition is a marketing term, and you can learn lots of things on the internet about how your unique value proposition matters when you're selling a product, but I want you to think about how your unique value proposition matters when you're creating a product, specifically an app. There's no shortage of problems in this world. And as entrepreneurs, it's our job to solve those problems as best we can while making the task of doing so worth our while. When you try to solve problems through a software product, an app, if you will, you'll be paying some number of developers to code features into the app. Each of those features could run you hundreds, thousands, or tens of thousands of dollars. Each. If you try to solve too many problems at once, you'll have to increase the number of features your app will have, which means you'll have to be adding to the number of dollars you spend to get your app into the world. More dollars spent before you launch only decreases your startup's chance of getting to the next level. A bigger product scope can even make it less likely that your product will launch at all. Not only that, but a product that tries to do too much might just not stand out very well in the minds of your customers. When people ask you, what does the app do? You want to have a quick, easy answer that's easy to get. But there's lots of noise out there. The unique value proposition that makes the most sense to a target user is going to stick in their mind. That's not to say that you can't start taking on more problems later on. I mentioned Uber earlier, and they're starting to get lots of options and features. You can pre-order your ride now, or pick from a few different options from Uber Pool to Uber Black. Heck, you can even order an Uber just for your Chinese food these days. But when Uber launched, these options didn't exist. The only options you had were pickup location and drop-off location. First, they got really good at solving the problem of getting people around. Then, they expanded their market. That's the key difference. Anyway, I could talk about this all day, but the important thing is, get a unique value proposition, focus your product scope on that unique value proposition, test that product out in the market, and just use your best judgment to adjust. If you had unlimited chances to repeat this cycle, you'd be a guaranteed success. I mean, you don't get unlimited cycles, but hopefully you've planned to at least get a few. If you'd like to talk to a beta Canon pro about how to craft a unique value proposition and design an app or software product with that UVP in mind, go to betacanon.com and get a free consultation. If you have thoughts or feelings about this video, let me know in the comments or shoot me an email at dom at betacanon.com.